nowadays people are realizing that the the standard ways of improving the performance in microprocessors are coming to an end. So you might have con a continuation of Moore's Law, but the fruits of Moore's Law are not as uh, profitable as they were even five or 10 years ago. And so people need new tools, especially tools that involve getting data into and out of chips or between different parts of chips. And photonics is an ideal solution to that problem. So I think it's really uh, giving a great platform to broaden the horizon of these students and actually let themselves actually connect to each other because people come from uh, also come from industry, uh, schools, and also uh, government labs. So it actually creates a great environment for people to interact and come up with new ideas in their respective fields. The, the other opportunity for students in an environment like this that is going to be different from either their home company or perhaps their home institution is they're getting to interact with experts from a, a really wide variety of institutions. That's a really unique experience for students. Uh, when you just go to a large conference, you don't get a chance to sort of sit down and talk with uh, experts in the field in the same way that you do in an experience like this. There aren't many places that you can go and get exposed to the entire field, from the fundamentals, uh, beginning with Maxwell's equations, all the way out to uh, using the AIM uh, facilities uh, for design, the way people do today in electronics foundries, uh, to being able to practice state of the art, uh, not only in designing devices, but in designing circuits, photo, uh, uh, photonic integrated circuits, and packaging those circuits and putting them into systems.